Okay, our class is beginning. Good evening, every member. So today our topic is about the technique, the first course of technical analysis. I will talk about the philosophy of stock market. So my name is Jesse Ding. Okay, so let's start our class. Today you will learn this content from the course. The first one, analysis of current market, because we want to know what should we do, what should we, what should we sell or hold stocks, but in the current market. The next one, we, I will talk about the three axioms of technical analysis. Then the last, the second one, different strategy between blue chips and penny stock, because you know recently some penny stocks are so strong. So what should we do? Which better? Which dif uh, What's the different strategy? So the last one, I will talk about the strategy for the current market. So this is the contents of today's course, and uh, I really hope you can learn some good method. So let's see the market analysis first. This is for the long-term analysis for STI index. So this is the trend line because we already learned how to draw the trend line, right? So you can connect the low point to the uh, to another low point, then you can get the trend line. Okay. So this line, yes. So you can see this is the this is the trend line, and the, this middle line you can see half of the trend line. So you can see, you can you can get another line. Recently we know that this is the monthly chart of STI index. So the monthly STI, we can see here the price just uh, touched the resistance and uh, didn't break out. So the market has some correction. Then recently the market is still in sideways. Okay. This is for the long term analysis for STI index. So let's see the monthly chart. This is the monthly chart. So we know last time I already told you last course I taught you how to use three, six, nine these key numbers to judge the market. Because uh, just now member asked me, can I repeat again? Okay, then I can repeat again, and I will teach you how to use these key numbers to analyze stocks. Okay, so you can see one, two, three, right? Firstly, you should find the key high point or low point, okay? So how to find the low point, high point? You can uh, use your fingers to judge. So we can see this one. Can we take this point as the high point? Yes, because the high price is higher than previous two candlesticks and the next two candlesticks. So this is the high point, okay? So this is the high point. Then we can calculate. This is the one, two, because this one, the low price is lower than this one. One, two, three. Then the market has some rebound. Okay? Because when the market touched the three, num the number three, number six, and the number nine, so which this is the turning point. Okay? Which means the market may have some may reversal. Okay. Then we can see this one. Can we check this one as the low point? Because this low price is lower than previous one, previous two, and the next two, so this is a low point, right? So we can calculate. This is the one, two. Then here is one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Then the one, two, three, uh, five, six, uh, two, uh, four, five, six. So the market has some uh, correction. Okay. Then we can see this one. This is the low point, right? Then one, two, three. Okay, so calculate six. Then one, two, three. The market has some correction because this is the monthly chart. And we can see this one. This is the low point again. One, two, three, five, uh, four, five, six. Then the market had a big correction, right? Okay, so you can use this one to analyze uh, the market. Monthly chart, weekly chart, and the daily chart. Okay, so let's see the current price, current market. So we can see here. Can we take this one as the low pro, low pro, low point? Yes, because the low price is lower than previous two and the next two candlestick. So this is the low point. Okay, so we can take, calculate. This is the one, two. Can we take this one as three? No. Because this high price 
never hire her, then they didn't hire her, then this one. So we can see next one, still cannot. This one can or can not, still cannot. Okay, so we need to wait till the third candlestick appears. Okay, so if you see the third, the three, the, num the numbers, the, market, the candlestick, be the number three, number six, and number nine. Okay, so this is the turning point. You should pay more attention. Okay, so this is the monthly chart. Let's see the medium term or short term analysis for STI index. Okay, I draw these lines. Why I draw this line? Because we can know that this is the low point. This is another low point. So we can connect this low point to another low point and get the trend line, okay? Then we know that recently the market just touched the trend line and had some rebound, okay? Then we can see here, this is the trend line. Then we can this one, this is the previous low point. This is previous low point, the previous low point. So we also can pay more attention to the previous low point because this is the key support and resistance, the strong support and resistance for the current market. And we can see here, this is the high point, the next high point. We can connect this high point to another high point and get the trend line right. So recently the market may have some, uh, the market is in sideways during this period. Then you should, we should pay more attention. If the market can upward break through the trend line, maybe still have chance, right? If cannot, maybe the price is in sideways, okay? So you should pay more attention whether the market still can upward break through the trend line or not. If cannot, you should pay more attention to the short term risk. If can, maybe you have another chance to buy some stocks, okay? So this is the mid-term analysis for STI index. So then you should know short-term analysis for STI index. Short-term is up or down. Okay, how to judge the short-term? Then we can collect, click the daily chart. Then use, just now I taught you this method. This is the low point, right? Okay, the low point. One, two, three, right? Then the market uh, had some correction. Then we should uh, see this one. Can we check this one as the low point again? Yes, this is another low point. Then one, this one can take as two? No, because the low price never higher than this one. So we cannot, we can should wait and see. This is the risk, the market price. Then let's continue, uh, okay. Then let's see uh, some individual stocks. Then we can analyze hot stocks. Let's see this one. This stock I saw, I think, long time ago I filtered. Not long time ago, maybe uh, several days ago, I filtered this method by filter methods I already taught you. Okay, so let's see this stock. What's the difference? Okay, this trend is still the downtrend, right? Then we can continue. This is the low point, okay? Then we can see here. This is the previous high point, may have some resistance, okay? Then these days, the price upward breaks through the resistance, okay? So which means the market may have chance to go up again, okay? So when the market has some rebound, then touch the previous low point, because this is the support, then the market correct here, then go up again, okay? So this is the market. So let's let's do do some filter to get some st hot stocks that we can analyze. Because last time, uh, just now, member told me that if I use some filter method, we, uh, so many stocks will come out. So how to use the practical method? Can maybe can filter only one or two or three stocks? I hope you can remember this method. Okay, then let's do it again. Firstly, you should click the Singapore market. I think this method is good because I use this method to filter these stocks, racks, okay? So let's filter again and uh, analyze the stocks which can come out. So firstly, we should click the Singapore market.
Then we should uh, click save. Maybe you key the name to yes. Then we can click the market sector browse again. Then click extract. Just now we saved. So this one we can click the file. Just now I, we saved. Okay, then we right click the percentage and uh, save part before 30. Okay, then right click percentage, save part. Maybe we can click the one, then click save. Okay, then right click turn over rate, then save part again. One, one, then save. Then click right click volume, then save part again. Maybe one, two, then click save. Okay, then we can click sector index setting. Click maintenance, direct, extract, we find the one. Then click intersection, extract, we find the two. One, the 11. Then we can click intersection, then we can click 12. Then we can click, we can uh, filter some stocks. Maybe what well, only one, two, three, four, five, only five stocks. Okay. Then we can check these stocks is good or not. So let's see the first one. This is the Israel, right? Okay. So this one good or not? Okay, so we should know. This one recently, maybe it's good, but you should pay more attention to the previous high point. This is the resistance. If you cannot break out, you should sell for short term, okay? So we filter this stock. The second stock is OS group. Let's see the OS group. The OS group, we'll see the chart pattern. This one, the price drop, then rebound, then drop again but didn't, create a, didn't hit a new low, the market has some rebound again. So let's see the part chart pattern. We can connect this point. Then the market, this stock is in sideways. So we can see this one. But which point is the good buy point? Maybe you can pay more attention. If the price can up or break through the sideways area, maybe you have another chance to buy. Then we can see the third stock. So the one is IEV. Let's see this stock. This stock is also active, right, and hard. Okay, then what's, what should we do from this stock? So last time I taught you how to use Trend Expert to judge the market, right? Okay, so if you filter these stocks, you can use Trend Expert to judge when to buy, when to sell. And I think you only use this method, you can catch some good opportunity, okay? So let's see this one. This is the buy point, right? Because we can see here, at least three assistant lines turn to purple. So this one is the buy point. If you buy, you should buy another day. The price is maybe 0 0.05, then you still keep it. Just to keep it. Now you earn some profit, okay? So let's see the next one. Next one is called Rex. Rex is still strong. Let's see the difference between this. Last time I taught you how to use trend expert. So we can see the market from the price, this stock from downtrend to the uptrend, right? When to buy? Because maybe some investors missed a good chance, right? So what's the next buy point? Okay, so this is the first buy point, right? Why? Because green turn to the red candlestick, at least the three Lies, assistant lies turn to purple. So this is the buy point, okay? So if you buy here, now it's 0 0.067, you still can earn some profit, but you already missed a good chance. When to buy, when can buy again? If you see the red candlestick turn to green, then green turn to the red again, you can buy again, okay? Because you missed a good chance, you need to wait, okay? Then we can see next one, it's called Johnson. So let's see this stock. This stock is good or not. Firstly, let's see the chart ahead. This stock is in sideways, right? 
still in sideways because we can see all the light gathering. Okay, so this stock is sideways. Let's see the volume. So we can see here, this is the big sore, right? This is the sore. Then the market has some rebound, rebound uh, has some correction. Last time I taught you how to analyze the banker cost. Okay, so we can see here half of the candlestick is the banker cost, right? So the market, the price is still above the cost. So which means you, maybe you have another chance to buy, okay? So we can draw the chart pattern. This is the low point. So the price is in sideways, like as triangle. When can we get in? If you see the price can up or break through the triangle pattern, you have chance to buy, okay? So this one, maybe you can put into your favorite, okay? So this is, let's see the uh, technical uh, trend expert. We click expert, then click trend expert. So we see here. Recently, we can see the trend expert. Green turn to the red candlestick. Can we buy or not? Maybe you can buy, okay? But you need to wait until the price, the price up or breaks through the pattern. Maybe it's better, okay? So this is the filter method, and I hope you can learn this method because this one, if you use this method, you only feel a few stocks, not many stocks, okay? So this is the filter method, and if you learn this method, I hope you can practice at home, okay? So. Let's see the next one. Today we, I will, we will learn about some difference between technical analysis and fundamental analysis. Okay, and uh, uh, from the course, I will teach you how to do some technical uh, fundamental analysis. Okay, so what is the technical analysis? The so-called technical analysis, which is the way to research on market behavior through the chart and judge the future trend. So if you use technical analysis, you should look at the chart, okay? Technical analysis is a method of market research in which market behavior is the object of study. Meanwhile, the future trend is the purpose of the study and the chart is tool. So why we need to use the chart to analyze your stocks? Because the chart is the tool. Okay, so we need to know when to buy, when to sell. We need to have the software. Okay, then we can see the difference. The market behavior. Market behavior is extremely complex, in which the price is the purpose of technical analysis, is the primary research object, okay? The volume is very important, okay? So why, if, uh, if you want to analyze your stocks, you must, you need to check the volume, whether it's good or not. So the volume is the verification of price movement. It is the blood of the stock market, reflecting the degree of market activity, playing a good supporting role for the price movement, okay? So I already told you, if you want to judge the market can go continue to go up or not, you should check by the volume, okay? If you see the market up, then the volume up, maybe it's good, okay? If the volume is not good, so you cannot buy. Okay, so let's see the first stock. This is the Yidra, right? Firstly, let can, let's see the volume. This is the the price, then the market, the price go up, went up, right? And the volume increased, right? So this is the normal rising, okay? So let's see the next one. Let's see this stock. This stock is normal. Normal, we can see the trend. This low point is lower, right? And uh, this is the low point, right? Low point is higher or lower? Higher, right? Okay, so just now I taught you this method. You also can use by New York stocks, okay? So we can check as this is the lowest point, right? Okay, so this is the one, two, three, right? Okay, the market had some correction, okay? So you can use this method to judge the sell buy point and sell point. Okay, then we can see this one. This is the low point, right? One, 
this is the two, this is the three. So you should pay more attention. Maybe the price, the stock may have some correction, but we don't know. If tomorrow the price, the high price can higher than the previous one. So maybe the price, you can calculate the three, the four, five, six. If cannot, you should sell for short term, okay? So we can see the next one. This one no need to care, okay? So let's see this one, Rex. This one is good or not? Let's calculate. This is the trend, okay? So this is the low point, the low point. Low point is lower, right? This is the high point. This is another high point. High point is higher. What's the trend? This is the sideways, okay? So we can see here, this is the low point, right? Low price, 0 0.046. So this is low point. The one, two, three, right? Then this high price is similar. It's the same with the previous one, okay? So we can see next day, this is the four, five, six. So the market has some correction. Then we can see this one. This is the low point, right? If this one cannot, we can see next one. This is the low point or not? No, this one is the low point because lower than previous two, then the next two. So we can calculate, can we calculate this one as one? Okay, so this one is the one or not? So you should know whether this high price is higher than the previous one. If not higher, so if you take this one as one, one, two, three, then you should you should know that this is the first candle. This is the key low point. And the next day, the high price is higher than the previous one or not? Not higher. So we cannot take this one as the first candlestick, okay? Tier this one, higher than this low point. So this is the one, this is the two. So maybe have three, okay? So this is the price. Then we can see the volume is still good. So if you see the volume can compare with the price, maybe it's better, okay? So let's see this one. This stock is good or not? Maybe it's not good because you can see the high long shadow, okay? And the volume is so big. So good or not? Okay, so let's see the, let's draw the chart pattern. This is the, we can connect the low point to another low point. So this one is here. We can see the price just touch the resistance, right? So whether it can break out or not, we don't know, we haven't, we cannot know <coughs> now. Then if the market can go up again, maybe this is another chance, okay? But recently the price, this stock is still in sideways. So we need to pay more attention to the future trend. If the price can up or break through the sideways area, maybe you have another chance to buy. But if you cannot, you cannot buy. You should wait and see. Here the price has some correction. But if you still want to buy this stock, which price is the banker cost? Half of the candlestick, maybe 0 0.054, okay? So if the price may uh, adjust around this price, maybe you can have another chance to buy. So let's see this one. This one is good or not? Yes, for this period, this stock is good. But you should know that this is a big resistance, right? 0 0.050, uh, 0 0.050. So this is a big, strong resistance. You need to know whether the close price can upward breakthrough or not. If the close price cannot upward, upward breakthrough, even if the high price already breakthrough, you still cannot buy. Because the close price breakthrough is more important, okay? So we can see this one. 
The next one we can see here. This is the odds group, just now we filtered, right? Okay, so let's see this stock. This one maybe you can see here, like double bottom, right? Okay, so if you see the pattern is double bottom, so you can draw the pattern. If the price can up or break through this point, maybe you have another chance to get in, okay? So you should check whether the price can up or break through this high point or not. If can up or break through the trend line, you can catch some good opportunity, okay? So let's see this one. This one, Singapore television, maybe this is the blue chips. Then we can see next one. Let's see this one, Yuzu. Yuzu is good or not? Recently it's in sideways, right? If you see the share is in sideways, you'd better wait and see. You cannot buy. If you buy the stocks, maybe you waste the time, okay? So this one we also filtered, okay? Then the price just uh, correct, adjust around half of the candlestick, right? Then had some rebound. So if you buy here, you can do some short term. So this is the market. Let's see the Yang Zijiang. Yang Zijiang is good or not? No, because the trend is still downtrend, okay? So we also can draw the trend line. This is the downtrend line. So the trend is still the downtrend, okay? If you draw the trend line, you also can, you can analyze. Let's see this stock, Inni. Inni is good or not? So we know that long term, sideways okay so we can draw the trend draw the pattern again this is the high point another high point this is the so which pattern triangle pattern right the price just uh, upward break through the triangle pattern okay so maybe you can pay attention to this stock if it can go up again if the volume can continue increasing maybe is good okay if the volume cannot increase you'd better wait and see because the price the stock may still keep in sideways okay so this is some hot stocks so you should remember volume is very important for us if you want to check this price is good or not this stock is good or not you should check the volume so let's see the price and the volume this is the market if you see the price went up, the volume increased. The market, the price dropped, then the volume decreased. Then the market go up again, the volume increased again. The volume, the price dropped, then the volume decreased. This is the normal situation, okay? So maybe sometimes you see the price rise, but the volume decreased. So you should know this is not good. You should pay more attention to the risk. Then if you see maybe the price drop, then the volume increase is still not good because you, you know, if you see the price drop, the volume should uh, decrease. This is the better, this is the normal situation. So this is the volume and the price, okay? So let's continue the trend. Trend is the core of technical analysis. The study of price charts is to judge timely and accurate at the early stage of trend formation and development so as to follow the trend. So why if we if you select if you want to buy some stocks, you should uh, judge the overall trend ahead. Then you can decide we should uh, do short term or medium term or long term investment. Okay? So it is the not easy to change once the trend is formed, okay? If the uptrend is formed, maybe it's not easy to change to downtrend, okay? So this is the trend. Let's see the next one is about the chart. The charts include bar line, dotted line, PWR, candlestick, dramatic candlestick, then homely candlestick, and so on. This is some uh, charts. Then the best way to the performance of the chart, dramatic, uh, dramatic candlestick, homely candlestick, and homely down candlestick, okay? 
So dramatic candlestick reflects the profit and the loss of the market. Homely candlestick is based on the level of profit and loss with turnover rate. However, homely Dow candlestick will filter out the daily price movements and merge trend with candlestick. So let's see some difference. Okay. So firstly, let's say this is the German candlestick. This is a this is a candlestick, right? Okay. So let's see some different some different patch up. First one is called Balai. Balai, okay. The next one is called dotted line. So this one is called BWR, okay. So this one you can see the chart, the sample line, the sample, okay. So let's see the, what's the difference between. Let's see the chart. Can you see what's the difference? Because this is the same stock and the, the daily chart. Then can you find can you find some difference? See what's the difference? Because if we use the chart, we don't know. We cannot find some difference. Then you can see this one, the same stock. Okay. Then we can see here the trend line. The trend line we uh from the two uh on the two chart I already draw the trend line, but it's different. It's different, right? So I connect the high point to another high point. This high point to this high point. Then this high point to this high point. But why the chart is different? Because we can see this one. The candlestick is still below the still below the trend line. So this one already break out. So what's the difference? Because for the first chart, this is use the uh, we use the German candlestick. So this one is the original candlestick. So this is the difference. Okay. If you want to draw the trend line, which one is better? If you draw the trend line, you should use German German candlestick. You cannot use original indicator candlestick. Okay. Because we can see here. Then this is the chart. This is the geometry candlestick. Okay. Then we can click IND. We can click the original indicator. So you can see. Maybe for the chart, you can not find any difference. Okay. But when you draw the trend line, you can know. You can find some difference. Okay. So let's see the. Let's draw the trend line high. This is the. Trend line, right? If I connect the same chart, it's different, right? So if you draw the trend line, you'd better use German German candlestick to draw the trend line. Okay, to analyze your stocks. Okay, so let's see the next one. Let's see the some different. So we can use some candlestick. This is the German candlestick. Then we can see this is the homely candlestick. So you can see homely candlestick is very is quite different with the normal candlestick, right? So what's the difference? I remember uh, when a long time ago I uh, talked about. What's the difference between German candlestick and the homely candlestick? But this video is for is in Chinese, okay? So you can see this one. What's the difference? This is the homely candlestick, and you can see here. If you see the price drop right, then the big bullish candlestick appears, which means this one maybe you have chance. It's good, but this one we can see what's the difference. You should see if you see the big bullish candlestick appears, maybe you have another chance to get in. But for this one, can get in or not? No, because this one is is uh, smaller than this candlestick. Okay, so we need to wait.
This one still wait, wait, wait. Okay. So this one, this is a big bullish candle, big bullish candlestick, right? And the, the this you can see the body. The body is higher than this one. Maybe it's better. Okay. So we can see next day. If you think this one is not good, you can see this one. This is a big bullish candlestick, right? Then this one is longer than the previous one. So you can know that the share have some chunks. Okay, so go up again. So here can go up again. Okay. But this is we just uh, mentioned. Okay, so let's continue our class. Let's see the fundamental analysis. What's the difference? Because if you use the, if you look at the chart, I think you can combine with fundamental fundamental analysis to increase your profit uh, accuracy. For the fundamental analysis, is based on the basic theory of economics. That is, find out the factors that affect the relationship between supply and demand of stocks according to the principle of the relationship between supply and demand of goods and judge the future price trend by these factors. This is about the fundamental analysis, okay? So let's see the main contents of fundamental analysis. So the first one, the relationship between supply and demand if the direct cause of price movement uh, changes. And there are many factors that cause changes in supply and demand, okay? So we can grasp the stock price changes only through carrying out a comprehensive analysis. So if you want to make more profit, make stable profit, you should uh, do comprehensive analysis ahead, then you can decide how to trade. Okay, so let's see the fundamental analysis and the technical analysis, what's the difference? The fundamental analysis is the discovery of the results from the causes, but the same reason does not necessarily produce the same results, which is the confusion of fundamental analysis. Okay, so this is the fundamental analysis. The real new information is useless and useful information. It's far from the individual stock investors. If we want to get the newest, newest news, it's latest news, it's, different, it's difficult, right? Then the next one, technical analysis is the, we can see this one. This one is different because we can see the technical analysis. You can find the result, find the reason to uh, the find the new re the result to the new result. Okay, so this one is reason reasoning process for from the result to the new result. Okay, so the last one, therefore, fundamental analysis does not care about the reasons for price changes, but only concerned about the result of price movements. Okay, so this is the difference between fundamental analysis and the technical analysis. So let's see, why we need to use two? The study of fundamental analysis must be done. Firstly, the message you collect must be comprehensive. If you like using technical uh, fundamental analysis, you should get the message, then you should promise, confirm that the message you collect must be comprehensive. So the secondary, the information you collect must be true. Okay, maybe you meant so many information. We can get so many information from the website, from the uh, newspaper. Then we need to uh, confirm that the new the information is true. Then the next thirdly, your information must be timely. Okay. Then the last one, you should master the relevant knowledge of finance, monetary and banking business management, financial accounting, securities, investment analysis, social philosophy, uh, psychology, and so on. If you want to use tech fundamental analysis to analyze your stocks, these factors are very important, okay? So if you cannot analyze these factors, you'd better not use fundamental analysis, okay? Because it's difficult to operate. It's difficult to grasp. So this is the difference. Let's continue. 
There are many reasons for the price changes. We do not know the reasons of stock ups and downs, but there must be a reason behind the price rise and fall. Emerged through price volatility. Then it contains a variety of new and unknown factors. So technical analysis for the price research is single real. There is one reason for stock ups and downs. That is, the price rise if buyers more than sellers, while the price fall if buyers more less than sellers. It's simple, right? You should you need to know why the price drop, why the price rise, because of the volume by what buyers and the sellers. So if you buy something, man, many many people buy this. Maybe you sell the apple. Many people buy the apple, then the price will up, right? Then maybe the market is not good. Many people do not don't buy the fruit, so the price will drop. It's the same thing. It's the same principle in stocks. Okay. So this is the supply, the relationship between supply and the demand. So you should know if you see the buy volume is higher than the sell volume, so the price will go up. Then if you see the buy volume less than sell volume, the price may go down. Okay. So if you want, if you like to read the uh, real time chart, you should see the volume. Okay. It's very important. Let's see the technical analysis, three examples of technical analysis. So let's see the first one, market discounts everything. Later I will show you how the practical and the maybe you never heard this before. Then let's see this one. Maybe some members, some people already learned this method. Okay, this is the technical analysis, basic one. So the known and the predictable factors that affect move, price movements are all reflected in the price, and the, all the above factors are absorbed by future price fluctuation. So if you want to know new, uh, know some news, you can get. So you can get some information from the chart. Okay. So let's see this one. This is the price, right? You can get some, if you see some news, maybe the price dropped a lot. So you know that this is the bad news, okay? So this one will reflect by the chart. It makes sense only by recognizing that learning and applying technical analysis. This is the theoretical basis of technical analysis, okay? So you need to learn how to use the, how to do the technical analysis. So let's see the second one. Price moves as trend. The price movement is not random, but regular. The original direction tends to continue once the chain is formed. Okay, so this is the premise for application of technical analysis and the most fundamental and the core element. Okay, so this is the second one. Price movement is not radial. Okay, so let's see the next one. This is the uptrend, right? So we can see this is the uptrend before this is the higher high and the higher low. This is the uptrend, okay? So we can see if the uptrend is confirmed, is formed, you should know the price of trend will be continued, okay? We are not a change at radio, okay? So you can see the trend is still good, still strong, right? So if you see the trend is in the uptrend, you should keep your stocks, no need to sell, okay? So let's see the second, the third one. The third one is history will repeat itself. Things that have already happened will happen again, but not simply repeat. The same price pattern has influence in the past. The future will have the same effect. Okay. So this is the basis of technical analysis. Okay. So you can see if the price pattern of influence the price, okay? So maybe in the future, they have the same effect, okay? So history, history will repeat itself. So this is the technical analysis, include the price, the volume, time, and the space, okay? 
So you should know this is the factors of technical analysis, the price, volume, time, and the space, okay? So let's see the next one. Just now I taught you the first, uh, first uh, point. Then let's see the second one, the logic of stock share market. Let's see this one. Firstly, we should know that this is the logic, okay? Company fundamentals decide the profitability dividend, right? Because we like holding uh, the stocks can, which have the dividend, okay? So the next one, the profitability dividend will affect the investor psychology, okay? So if the investor psychology inform the price chain, you should know. Then the price trend reflect the company fundamentals. You should know this is the cycle, okay? You should remember. So this is the cycle. If you know the price trend will reflect the fundamental analysis, if the price trend is not good, maybe the company fundamental is still not good, okay? So if the company fundamentals is not good, then you can see the profit duty dividend is not good. If the price, the company give you more dividend, the profit, the fundamental is good, okay? So this one will affect the invest, investor psychology, okay? Maybe because we have our own mindset. If the market go up, mindset is good. Then if the market, the price go down, the mindset is not good, okay? So investment psychology will inform the price trend. If you are confident with the market, okay, maybe you will buy more. If you think the price will drop, you will sell more than the price go down, okay? So this is the logic of share market. Let's see this one. The essence of ups and downs for share market. Interesting, uh, interesting value decides main direction of price, but it is the investor sentiment that ultimately affects stock prices. Okay, so this is the essence. Let's see this one. So we can see this chart, this chart, okay? So this is, maybe this is the fundamental, okay? So you can see here. So from the chart, we know that this one, the performance is good, right? So the chart is good, then the volume increase, the price go up. Then we can see here, the price go up, then start to go down, then the volume decrease. So you should know that the company fundamentals maybe is not good. Okay, so you should know that. Let's see the next one. What's the difference? Just now we saw the chart, good or not? It's good, right? But for this one, it's good or not? It's not good, right? Okay, so we can see this one. This is the price, right? Then the mark, the, this is the price drop, and this is the volume, right? And we can see this one, what's the difference? So which stock we should pay more attention? If you just uh, look at the performance, which one is better? So this one is stable, right? This one is good. But you can see one day, the performance is not good like this. You should sell, okay? You cannot buy the stocks. Then we can see this one. This one, good or not? If you see, this is the financial result, financial performance. This one is good or not? Not good because the the market the profit is not good. Okay, so we can see this one good or not? Yes, it's good. Why? Because from down to up, then the profit may go up again. Okay, may increase. So this chart is good. So if you see the, so let's see this one. The first one is good. Then the second one, the second one is good, okay? So let's see this one. Which one is good for the performance? Financial performance. If you want to do some financial analysis, we don't need to care so many factors because we mainly focus on technical analysis. But if you combine with fundamental, fundamental analysis, maybe you want to check whether it's good or not, then you should uh, see. You should select which one is better. 
So if you see the, this is the first, maybe this is a company, another company. This is the financial performance. It's like this, good or not, not good. If the co company financial, uh, for company fundamental like this, you should know the chart still not good, okay? So we can see this one. This one is good or not? Yes, if you see, you need to select, you need to choose between these two stocks. You should find this one. This one is better, okay? So this is for the confirm. So let's see this one. Idea and the strategy for blue chips. Because we keep so many blue chips and we also have some have some penny stocks, right? So what which uh, what should we do for the blue chips and the fundamental fund and the penny stocks? Okay. So if you use whole money, whole capital to do some for to buy blue chips, you cannot earn money. Okay, for recently, for recent market. Then if you invest uh, the whole capital in the penny stock, you cannot earn money because penny stock is too dangerous, right? Maybe when you get in, the price drop a lot, okay? So what's the idea and strategy for the blue chips? If you want invest a blue chip, maybe 100, um, maybe 100, maybe 100,000, okay? 100,000, so what's your opinion? If you have 1,000, uh, 100,000, so how will you, uh, how will you uh, uh, set your investment play? You need to think about it, okay? If you have 1,000, 100,000, okay? So maybe you put whole money to the blue chip, in the blue, uh, buy, to buy some blue chips, good or not? Still, in, if you want to earn more money, you cannot do this, right? Okay, so you can see what's the difference. This is the value and this is the price, okay? So you can see the first one for the value and for the price, what's the difference, okay? So the price start to rise, okay? Then crack, then rise again, then crack, then rise again. So this is the value, value is good, right? Okay. So how we invest for, for this one? So this is a downtrend, right? This is a bull market. This is a bear market. This one is for the bear market, okay? So you can see here, when the price dropped, dropped around 20% to 30%, a bull is fallen, okay? So then the price Drop again, a tier uh, around forty percent. Little bear over. You should add twenty percent. Add twenty percent. You know. If you see this, is the blue chips. When you see the blue chips dropped around forty percent, you should maybe you can add twenty percent position. Can you understand? Yes, for buying. Uh, I'm not sure you can understand or not. So this one, you should remember. Okay, so let's see this one. If the price drop again, right? Then drop to, the blue chips drop to around 15%. Means the middle bell, or you can add 30% of your position, okay? So if you see the blue chips dropped around 60%, bear over, you can add 40% of your position, okay? So if you see, this is the, the blue chips dropped around 70% or more, then you can put last 10,000 to buy, okay? 
and you understand. This is for blue chips. So maybe you pay more attention to some blue chips. You want to know when can we, when is the good opportunity to get in to open a position. So you should remember this. If you see the blue chips drop around 20% to 30%, you cannot buy. You wait and see because the bull is far. Then if you see the price dropped, blue chips dropped around 40%, you can add, you can open, maybe you can add 20% position, okay? So dropped around 50%, you can add 30 position, 30% 30 of your position. Then if you see the blue chips dropped around 60%, maybe you can add 40 position of your 40% uh, of your position. If you see the blue chips dropped around 70%, you can put your whole money inside. So can you understand? From the job, from the high point job. Yes. So this one start to drop, okay? Start to go down. So you can take this one as the high point. Then you can see the percentage okay so this is for blue chips then let's see some blue chips because blue chips is safe and stable right so if you want you because in your, if you have some capital you should invest you should uh, use your 70 percent of your capital invest some blue chips then 30 percent you can invest some small cap stocks or penny stocks okay so this one is important so let's see this one maybe we can see let's see kappa cop so let's see this is the kappa cop right we can see firstly you should know the whole all blue chips follow the index okay so if the index is not good you should know it's not good. So let's see this one. This is the 9%. This is the $4, right? Now, from $9, drop to $4, already 50%. So what should we do? So here, what should we do? You can add some position, right? So keep, okay. So let's see the next one. This is not blue chips. So we find some blue chips, like some. DBS, banks. $90 to twenty, twelve dollars 19 to 20 to 12. How many percent? Not uh, maybe around 30, 20 percent to 30 percent. Okay, so what should we do? We can add some position. Okay, so we can see the next one. Let's see this one. This one from here. One to zero point zero fifty four. Can we add a position? Just now I told you the method are only suitable for pen blue chips, not for penny stocks. Okay. So let's see this stock. This stock we can see the price still upright. But you should know the you should know the previous high point. This is the previous high point. You should know this is the resistance and half of the candlestick. This is the big resistance, strong resistance. If you want to buy, you should check whether can output breakthrough or not. If cannot, wait and see. So if you see the price drop here, maybe you have another chance to buy again, okay? So this is some practical methods. So let's see this one. Idea for middle cap or small cap. Okay, so let's see this one, the value. Okay, so let's see the difference. Then the price drop. This is the value, you should know. Then the price drop. Drop then, keep in sideways, going 
side goes to go sideways. Okay, then the value is like this. So here, what should we do? Then if you see the price like this, here can we buy or not? Can we confirm to buy? Maybe we suffer, we uh, suffered a great loss. Maybe we dare to buy stocks again. Lose confidence, right? If you lose confidence, then the price start to go up. Then you will miss the good chance, right? So many many investors will have this feeling. Okay, then we can see this one. If you see this is the value, just now I told you how to find the good stocks from the company fundamental, okay? So this is the value, the company fundamental. And we can see this one, jump then sideways. Then here, go up, we can buy here. This one, we can open a position. So let's see some individual stocks. So let's see this stock. The price drop, right? Then keep in sideways, okay? Sideways. So we can see here. Let's see the volume. So if you see the price, the price just uh, from down to sideways, then the price go up, up or the break through the sideways area, buy or not? Definitely, this is the good opportunity for open position, okay? Then you see the price go up. Then we can see the price go down again. This is the pattern, right? So let's see this one. Let's see this stock, Anchor Resource. Let's see the chart. The price drop, then sideways, right? But if you see the price hits a new low, you definitely cannot buy, okay? Then we can see this one. Then price go in sideways. So you should know when to buy. You should know when is the good opportunity to get in, okay? So you should know here. If you see the price can up or break through the sideways area, maybe you can open some position. Okay, then we can see next one. Let's see this stock. This stock from down to sideways, right? Okay, we know this is the sideways, but we should know that we can draw the this is the sideways area. So this day, can we buy or not? This day, cannot, because the price didn't hit a new high, okay? Didn't break out the sideways area. So this one can buy or not? Cannot, because the close price still lower. So you cannot buy, go down again, and we wait and see. Then the price from down to sideways again, right? This one go down, then sideways, then we can draw the pattern again. Can we buy here or not? Yes, open some position, then you can earn, maybe keep in, uh, maybe keep in balance or sideways. Then we can see this is the value. So we see here, what's the performance? Then you should know here the two charts, two companies. The this is the company fundamental, another company fundamentals. So fundamental, which one is better? If you want to choose which one you will choose. Let's see the first one. First one is good or not? Yes, the if you see the for a company fundamental like this the price may go up steadily, okay? So this is the first one. Then the second one, can buy or not? The second chart, if we see the stock like second chart, can we buy or not? 
okay, we wait and see. Maybe we don't know, right? Then this one maybe this company earned a profit. Then maybe some days, uh, some day, uh, after the some period, then the pro the market is not good. So the company fundamental is not good. Then go down. So if you see the chart like this, the company is not good. The trend is good, not good. Okay. Then from then if you lost, uh, maybe you lo uh, lose. Then from lose to uh, maybe you earn profit again. Then this chart is also good. Okay. Then you can pay attention. This one, the first chart is for the blue chips. Then the second one is for the penny stocks. It's better. Okay. So you can see this one, the three charts, okay? The first one, from A to B. A to B, you can see the three stocks, okay? If you see the three pattern, you definitely you can know that this stocks is good, this pattern is good, okay? So let's see the first one. Down, then from down, to uptrend, then A to B, one year along better. Okay, if you see the price like this from here to here, then maybe at least one year around is better. Okay, maybe several months. Is. Then you can see this is the first one. Then if you see the next one, the price drop, then go sideways, then go up again. If you see the A from A to B, at least around one year, maybe your profit is more, okay? So this one is the same from this one to this one before the price rise. So you can see that this is around one year and maybe you have another chance to have some good opportunity, okay? So which pattern we should pay attention? If you see the sideways is only several months, only last uh, several months, so this is the price drop, then go sideways. If you see A to B, this is the A, this is the B, around one month, then if the price go up, only maybe up for several days or at least uh, one, uh, at most one month. I don't know whether you can understand or not. The price drop, right? Then go sideways, then go up again. So here, A to B. Then if you see A to B, the time is around several months, it may be uh, one month. Then if you see here, the price upward breaks through the sideways area. This rising stage, this one is less than is, is less than one month. Can you understand? Maybe at the most one month, okay? So sideways the long better. Okay, if you see the price sideways for a long period, then if you see upward breaks rule, you know this is the good chance. Okay. So if you see here, A to B maybe three days or several days. Maybe several days. If you see the sideways for several days. Then if you see the price after the breakthrough, maybe one, two, three, several days, then the price will jump, okay? You should know that. So if you see the sideways like this, you should analyze. So let's see some stocks. So you can see here, this sideways, how long? From here to here, around one month. Then you can see up, maybe, at least one month, okay? So you need to know. Then we can see next one. This one is not good. Okay, and let's see some stocks. We analyze these stocks. Firstly, let's see the Ezra. Okay, then we can see this one. This is the trend, right? So the price drop, then go sideways again. 
then upward breakthrough, the sideways around several, maybe several days. Then if you see several days, so you can see here and here, maybe the, 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 the maybe it's the same, okay? So you can see this is the, this one, then we can see We can draw the trend line. So you can see up the breakthrough already, right? So maybe you can pay attention, but this one is related, related to the oil price. Then we can see next one, oil group. So this one, we can see from down, then to sideways, right? Then we can, here is the sideways area. If the price can up the breakthrough, we can see here, from here to here, around maybe one month. Is. Then if the price can up the breakthrough the sideways area, they were rising around one month, then you need to sell. Or you can see the rising percentage, okay? So this is the, this one. Then we can see next one, IEV. This one maybe you can see here. Then go up, go up, then correction, then go up again. So this one is only for short term, not for long term, okay? If you see the price like this, go down, then sideways for a long time, then upward breakthrough. This one will continue. This rising stage is more stable. Then if you see the price drop, then go up again. This is only for short term. Okay, so if you see the like this, go up, then go sideways, then go up again. This is only the short term. Okay, so you should know whether this one is suitable for long, uh, for short term, or for medium term, or for long term. Okay. Then let's see this one. Three indicators for buy and sell. Three indicators. So we can see maybe we can use Homey Rainbow and uh, Multicolor Dragon and the Volume to judge, okay. I suggest that you use simple method is okay. If you like using chain expert, you don't need to use Homely Rainbow, okay. If you prefer Homely Rainbow, you don't need to use chain expert because one or two is enough, okay. Because we cannot use Homely Rainbow combined with chain expert, it makes no sense, you should remember. So this is a Homely Rainbow, okay. So we can see this one. If you see the price, the lines, the all lines gathering, you should know that. The lines gathering, which means the share is in sideways, okay? If you see, this is the yellow line, right? Yellow line gathering, then all yellow lines go up again, spread again. So here, you know that the price will go up again, okay? So you can see the price is still above. So let's see some examples. Let's see the homely rainbow. Let's see this stock, INI. Okay, so we can see this stock. All lines gathering line, except white lines, because white lines for long-term trend, okay? So the white lines down for the long-term trend is not good, but we can see the all the lines the yellow line from down to flat are all gathering, okay? So if you see the all line gathering, you should know that the trend will, have, will reverse, okay? So we can see here. Then if you see the yellow line go up, you should know that the medium term, the short term is good, okay? But if you continue sideways, continue to gathering, you should know here cannot buy. But if you see the yellow line go up again, you should know this is a good opportunity to buy to earn some profit. But you should remember here, the white line still down, right? So you know, if you do short investment, if the price touch the white line, you will get the resistance. If you see the price cannot upward break through the resist resistance, you should know cannot hold for a long time, okay? So if you 
see this one. If the price can offer the break to the white line, maybe you have another chance. Okay. So if you find some stocks which are like gathering, you should pay attention. Okay. But you no need to do. You need to operate. You just wait and see. It's better. Okay. So let's see this stock. This stock is also gathering, right? We can see all line gathering. So we should know. If you see the all line gathering, you need to know this is a turning point. So when to buy? If you see the all lines go up, you can buy. Okay? All lines go up, which means that the trend is good, it's strong. Okay? So you should remember. If you see the all lines go up, maybe you can buy. But now you need to wait and see. Just the focus, okay? So this one. So let's see this start. This is a. If you see the pattern, you also can draw the pattern, right? So this one, you can see the white line from down go up again. So this is the first stage. Why? Because we can see the yellow line from down to up, right? Okay, the first one. This one up and breaks through the white line, and the white line goes up. So this is the second one. Then we can see here, the price just uh, rebound, uh, grab, uh, adjust to white, uh, some lines, then go up again. This is the third stage. Okay, so this is the buy point. But this one, you should remember, better for media short term, short media term. So we can see this one. This is for if you invest in this kind of stock, maybe you use 10,000, okay? So if the stock like this, from down, then sideways, okay, then we can draw the pattern, right? We can connect the low point to another low point, low, 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 we can draw the pattern. This is the triangle pattern. So we can see here, if the price drop here, you can buy one, you can buy uh, 7%. So from here, 70% percentage, the price will go up. Then 30% the price will go down. So you can buy around 3,000. If you only have $10,000, then here you can buy $3,000. Okay, so you should remember. Then when you see the price up, then go down again. So here we can buy around 80%. Okay, maybe you add 4,000, okay, add more 4,000. Then the price go up again, then have some correction, but the trend is still up. So here, we can add $3,000, add more position. Then if you see the price go up, maybe touch the resistance, you should sell all, okay? So this is for the penny stock for the small cap stock, okay? So if you see like this, you should know how to uh, buy, how to keep, how to control your position, okay? You cannot buy, if you have $10,000, you here you buy 10000 You cannot do like this. So you should learn how to control your position, okay? So three ways for sale, three ways for sale. The first one, if you see the price touch the resistance, you'd better sell for short term or for medium term. Okay, so set up a profit target. Maybe you before you trade, you should set up your target profit target ahead. Okay, because you cannot you if you want to make more money, you will lose more. Okay, so if you see the price just touch the profit target, sell. Maybe the price will go up again, but you should know, I only make this profit is enough, okay? So that's, that's this one. We can see the calculate the up change from banker's average cost on accumulation basis. So if you see this one, this one, you feel a profit more than 80% safety profit target 50%, okay? So this one zero, this is the price, around uh, more than 60% safety profit uh, target, 30%. So this one, this one is a little complicated, okay? 
So 0.21 dollars more than 40 percent safety profit target, maybe 20 percent. This is a share price. Okay, this is for your percentage, rising percentage. This one is for the target percentage, target price. You should know. Maybe if you buy the stocks, this one target profit. 50%. Okay. This one, the target profit, 20%. Okay. So this is the sell, three ways for sell, for selling. So the, the last one, breakout and downward, the 20 moving average trend line. 20 moving average is for short term. Okay. So for example, breakout or downward, the green line of home miracle. How many green line for can help us to judge the trend for the judgment judge for the chain. If you see here, the price break out or downward the green of green line of home rainbow, you'd better sell. Okay, this is why important. So you should remember three ways for selling. The first one, touch the resistance. Then the second one, you should set uh, when the price touch your profit target. Then the third one, break out or downward the 20 moving average trend line. Or you can see whether the price through up or breaks or downward break out the green line of November or not. Okay, so this is the three ways for selling. Can you understand? Yes. So today I will teach you the philosophy of stocks. So this is the philosophy, okay? So firstly, because this is the first course of technical analysis, so this one is more more principle and less practical, okay? So filter way of that course, filter way of that course, because we learn so many filter methods, okay? We want to find which one is better. This is the first, this is the filter method way of that course. The first one condition, moving average, 120 moving average equal to 200 moving average equal to 300 moving average. The condition, condition two, close price hits a new high in 60 days and uh, this is the close price. Close price may be the, price, the stock below $1. Like this one is suitable for small cap stocks. Okay, so this filter method only for small cap stocks, not for blue chips. Okay, so let's repeat, let's practice. So first one, you should click technical filter. Okay, please remember technical filter. You can take a picture of this condition. First 120 equal to 200. 20. Then you go to 300 We are rich. Then it's a new high in 60 days. And uh, the pro close price 0 0.01 to 1. You call this one is for small cap stocks or penny stocks. Okay, so let's continue. Click filter. Uh, Take a filter. Then we can click moving average MA. Just now we learn 100 and 20 moving average equal to this one not equal so we can find another one logical relate logical filter find the moving average one this is the moving average one okay let's see this one we don't have the don't have equal okay then we cannot do this. Yes, don't have equal. So let's see logical filter. The MAG1, we can change the parameter to 120. 300, let's see. Okay, let's see. The This one we don't have the equal. If you uh, practice at home, you'd better check whether here have equal or not. If have equal, you should click maybe 120 equal to 200 and equal to 300. 
This is this one. Then quotation, close hits a new high in 60 days. Then the close price around 0 0.01 to $1. This one, we filter some uh, small cap stocks and the penny stocks. Okay, so you just uh, filter, it's okay. You can practice, because I, I see here, no equal, then maybe we need to check. So this is the filter method, and you can practice at home, then you can check. Which, because you already had so many filter methods, you don't need to use each every one, okay? You need to f practice ahead, and you should know which method, which filter method is more is better for you, is more suitable for you, okay? Then you should practice. So let's see this one. The operation strategy for current market, because this is the chart of current market. Recently, we know that we can see this is a small triangle pattern, right? So this is a small triangle pattern. Then we can know that the price, how to draw here. I can connect this low point to the next low point, this high point to the next high point, and this three high point and two low point. This is a pattern, triangle pattern. So we need to know what recently the market is in sideways, right? So if you see the market drop here, this is the support. Then up to here is the resistance. But if we want to operate, we'd better check whether the price can upward break through, the market can upward break through the sideways area or not. You should check. This is why important, okay? So let's see this one. This is for the current market. Why I draw this line? Because this is the previous low point and high point. What if we know this is a low point, previous low point and high, and high point, we should draw, we should mark here because this is what important for us to judge the future trend. Because just now you learned the history will repeat itself. Okay, so if you see the price touch the previous low point or high point, the price may go down or go up. This is a strong support and uh, resistance. Okay. So today, let's review it today, what we learned, okay? Let's review it. I will tell you the important thing. Today we learned the philosophy of, of stock market, okay? So this is a long-term analysis. If you want to analyze market, analyze from long-term to short-term, okay? So this is the fundamental analysis, and you need you know how to judge what's the difference between fundamental analysis and the technical analysis, okay? So this is the difference. So let's, today we learned the axiom one, two, three, the three axioms of technical analysis. The first one, market discounts everything, okay? The next one is about the price moves as a trend, okay? So the next one, history will repeat itself. This is the basic theory of technical analysis, okay? If you want to start use technical analysis, this one is basic knowledge you need to know. Then we can see the next one, technical analysis, include four factors, price, volume, time, and space, okay? So the logical of share market. So why the price change will change? Because of the investment psychology, okay? So we can see the next one. This one I hope you should remember. How to open position for blue chips or penny stocks, okay? So the idea of strategy for blue chips. This one is important. I hope you can remember, okay? So this one is also good, the chart pattern. So how to, this one, how to control your position, you also need to know. Then we learned three ways for sell, for selling. The resistance, set up profit target, and how to set the profit target. Because many of members, many of investors don't know how to set the profit target. Right, so you can follow this, okay? 
For the next one, maybe the price breakout or downward, the 20 we average trend line, okay? So this is the way of dark horse, how to select dark horse, okay? You can practice this filter method. Then this is the current market, and what should we do? Because the pro market is inside of we only can buy low sell high, okay? Cannot keep for a long time. So this one, we should remember, we should mark the previous low point and high point because this is a big, a strong support and resistance, okay? So I think uh, because God is willing to help those who help themselves, so why we need to learn some method, right? Why we always come here to learn? Because each, each course, I will add more add different contents. So we are willing to help those who want to change their investment life. If you don't want to change, maybe you can not learn it very well. So I hope you all can uh, change your investment life and uh, you can learn good method. Because I think now is the good chance for catching some good profit. Okay, so thank you for attending class. Thank you so much.